Um, so here's a headline from uh, 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 CNN, right? A headline from CNN. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is funny. Biden says border walls don't work as administration bypasses laws to build more barriers in South Texas. So it, it turns out that, um, uh, you know, that walls don't work. Uh, and, and therefore, what we need in the southern border are not walls, but we need barriers because barriers work. Uh, the Biden administration, which has been anti-Trump wall, has said that they, uh, you know, that they would not, uh, that the walls don't work, that they will not build one foot of walls, they told us, not one foot of walls. Um, it, it, that, uh, you know, the, the walls were brutal, destructive, whatever. Uh, the Biden administration announced this week that they are indeed expanding Trump's wall. They are going to build more sections of the Trump wall. Uh, so, it, it, you know, but they're not going to call it a wall. So, uh, you know, as long as you don't call it a wall, then everything's good. We're, we're all good as long as we don't call it whatever it is. Evasion, evasion, evasion on steroids. Uh, that's what these guys are particularly, particularly good at. So uh, uh, there you go. Uh, Biden is building a wall. Now, this all comes as the Biden administration is under enormous pressure, enormous pressure from uh, Democrats, from uh, leftists, in, uh, in places like New York and Chicago, <clears throat> that where the cities cannot cope with the influx of uh, illegal immigrants, that is, people who cross over the border, um, are granted, a, a granted uh, <clears throat> to stay in the United States while their asylum case is being reviewed, which could take years, not allowed to work, not allowed to apply for a work visa, and then um, by the grace and, and, and wonders of the government of Texas primarily, uh, put on buses and shipped to New York and Texas, dropped off in the middle of cities, and uh, it, w it's cold, by the way, uh, and then left, uh, because they can't work, left to become basically welfare recipients of the cities that are receiving them. This is all a ploy to get Democrats upset about illegal immigration. And surprise, surprise, it's working amazingly well. It's not like Democrats care that much about illegal immigration one way or the other. It's, it's, it's a problem far away. It doesn't affect their life until now, and suddenly it affects their life, and suddenly they discover, the Democrats do in Chicago and in New York, that they don't like. They don't like uh, illegal immigrants. Not in Chicago. And indeed, moreover, they don't have the money uh, to fund these illegal immigrants, their welfare. Uh, so what you're getting is, uh, particularly, uh, you know, in New York, we've heard uh, Mayor Adams, but now in Chicago, and in Chicago, the problem is deeper, because if you remember, in, in, in New York, like Adams is not exactly a, a progressive Democrat. He's, a, he's quite a, a, a centrist uh, a, a realist. I mean, he, he, he's, he's pro-police. He's pro, uh, you know, being tough on crime. Uh, Adams is, is more of a centrist. He's not one of the... But Chicago, God. Chicago is dominated and overrun by crazy uh, progressive Democrats on the far left. And, you know, these are the people who, you know, uh, want people to cross over the border if only to... To, to, you know, who knows why, but in order to, to, to make this country worse off or, or uh, they won't allow them to work, of course, these also union people that would, don't want them to work or people who support the unions, they're not probably union members themselves, until suddenly it's in their backyard and suddenly the mayor of Chicago, who is one of these teacher union, super progressive Democrats, he doesn't have the money to house and they're actually building uh, uh, t tents with heaters uh, for these immigrants. I'll tell you in a minute where they're building them. And, and suddenly, uh, he can't afford to build the tents and give them food and uh, do all this stuff. He's calling for Washington, D.C. to allow them to work 
wow, I mean, work permits? I mean, the unions must be freaking out completely. And, and, and he's talking about traveling to the border. I'm not exactly sure what he'll do when he travels to the border. I, I don't know if you've heard about this, but Mayor Adams is going to, uh, uh, can remember, two, city, two, two countries in South America, Ecuador, maybe Mexico, and he's going to tell people in those countries not to come. They're not welcome in New York, and New York, he's going to tell them that New York sucks, and basically they're just as well off in Ecuador as they are in New York, <clears throat> which is just not true, by the way, because if you read about the crime statistics right now in Ecuador, <clears throat> some of the worst in the world, so of course they want to leave and get out of there. Um, other problem Chicago's having is they're trying to find places they can build these tent cities for the illegal immigrants. Um, so the only places they can build big tent cities, flat areas with open space, is in the south of Chicago. That is in the Hispanic and black and poor areas of Chicago, away from rich Chicagoans. And of course, the people who elected this current mayor of Chicago are those black and Hispanic neighborhoods. So they're pissed off. How come you're shuffling this problem onto us? It, Chicago's in a, I mean, Chicago's a <clears throat> in deep, deep trouble anyway. The, the conflicts within Chicago are horrific. The violence in Chicago, much worse than in New York. Um, but this is tearing Chicago apart, supposedly. This is making things much, much worse. And it hasn't stopped, and it's only going to increase. And this little bit of wall that the Biden administration is talking about building is going to make zero difference. The solution to illegal immigration has always been and always will be to legalize it, basically to allow for easy legal migration. And indeed, those countries where the Biden administration is allowing relatively easy asylum application at, in the country have seen a significant decrease in people trying to cross over the border. But the harder you make it for people to become legal, the harder you make it for people to come into this country legally, the more illegals you will have. <clears throat> the more illegals you will have. Anyway, um, the Democratic Party is basically apoplectic. And, and here's the thing. Chicago is going to host the Democratic National Convention next year. You could see massive demonstrations and real challenges uh, in Chicago. Uh, Rome was not destroyed by illegal immigration. God, I mean, it, it, the, the, the historical ignorance of some people is truly stunning. Uh, Rome was destroyed by Christians who lived inside of Rome. Uh, and and uh, most you know most immigrants were legal, by the way, in in Rome. The the, the barbarians that ultimately sacked Rome were legal immigrants. They weren't even illegal immigrants, and they were Christian. Interestingly enough, um, so Chicago, the National Convention is going to be there. And if they, you know, Democrats have one issue going for them in 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 elections. Uh, so far, and that is abortion. Americans are generally pro women's right to have an abortion. And uh, they have beaten Republicans all over the country on the abortion issue. And, uh, <clears throat> but the one issue that is really going to hurt Democrats, uh, that Republicans have a huge leg up on them, that Trump knows how to capitalize on and has in the past, is the issue of immigration. And now the Democratic constituencies are suffering because of the stupid immigration policies that this country is engaged in. Whether it's Trump or Biden, it doesn't matter. Or, or, or Bush and Obama, it doesn't matter. It's been stupid immigration policies for a long, long time. Uh, you're going to get Democratic constituencies voting as, uh, on immigration as a, as a major issue against Democrats. And it's going to make it very, very, very difficult. Um, very difficult for, um, uh, you know, for, for Democrats. They, they've got abortion going for them. They've got immigration going against them. 